And it's as impressive as his victories are the fact of how easily he makes this weight. He is huge for flyweight. He has fought a bantam and featherweight before, but this is where he's made this home. And he's looked so good, especially in the fight against uh, Gogo Shamatava. ACA 97 had to deal with the speed, the movement, the versatility of Shamatava, but was able to edge a close decision against him. Very, very impressive with his skill set. His mindset equally impressive. Never a moment in the fight where he looks to be on the back foot or he gives a, a, an opponent a chance to see any weakness in his style. A very impressive fight we have in front of us, Brad. Two undefeated fighters and I can't wait to see what happens. What we really I like about this matchup is both these guys are notorious for coming forward and obviously uh, uh, Kerakov likes to come forward and use it in size and pressure. But uh, Hatchaway doesn't really take a back step either so he's going to be, be very interested in who's going to be pushed on the back foot uh, within this fight. You know, he, he, he's going to say he just wants to get in there and control that center of the cage. It's going to be interesting to see which O is going to go around this one. Well, this, I believe, will be the first five-round fight for both these fighters. Let's hand it to Jeff Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now set for the main event to determine the new undisputed ACA World Flyweight Champion, scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is a practitioner of Wushu Sanda. He stands 165 centimeters tall. His official weight, 57.15 kilos. He is undefeated as an MMA fighter at 8-0, fighting out of Grozny, Russia. Here is Mansoor Khatuay! And across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is an MMA practitioner. He stands 172 centimeters tall. His official weight, an identical 57.15 kilos. He is also undefeated at 12-0, fighting out of Nalchi! Russia! Here is Azama Kerifo! And our referee in charge of the action, Ukash Bazaski. Okay, fighters, you know the rules. Listen to my commands all the time. When I say stop, we stop. Touch goes. Go back to your corners. So we are set for this title fight, the flyweight. Title on the line between these two undefeated fighters. Look at the tail of the tape there. Height and reach and experience on the size of Azamat Kerefov. But four years the younger. Mansour Hatuev. Hatuev. Blue and black shorts. Blue corner. Red corner. And gold and black shorts for Kerefov. Me, Brian Lacey, alongside Brad One Punch Pickett. Calling the action here in Krasnodar for ACA 104. The silence, the tension in this arena is palpable. Karifov, a local favorite. But her two of you can already see that movement, that footwork, that in and out style. Can he make it work against this bigger, very experienced opponent? You've got to respect with these two, very fast paced. We see the flow division. What's interesting to me, I was like I said it before, is I'm not too sure who's going to be put on the back foot because both of them like to come forward using the pressure. But you saw his Kerkhoff there managed to be in the one coming forward, but then the two have done a good job of turning this around. Uh, two have now with the pressure up against the cage. Talking about pressure, though, you've got to think about both of them's got to be feeling it. Not only here, fine here for, for the belt, the vacant belt earlier within the, with the careers, but also it's like both of them are unbeaten, so. One, someone's going to be very disappointed tonight with someone's O going. We shall see how it unfolds so far. Oh, high kick there. Yeah, I feel like that clipped it. I think that clipped him. I think he's in trouble. Kerifov pushing forward, looking to finish Mansour Hatuev. Hatuev swinging back, but Kerifov. First one with a significant strike, that high kick. The shin just glanced the top of the head and put Hatuev on wobbly legs. He's done very well to survive that. Yeah, who did the, what I'll say is the wrong thing. He's trying to try to fight back and throw punches, trying to keep Kerakov off him, but then he's managed somehow 
to get a grip, and this is now where he's recovering. But actually, Carol Gov me, I'll try and break clear if I was him and try and go back to the striking. And I've always, I said this before, I'm surprised that Kerkhoff does not have more finishes. He has a very relentless sort of style, and very, very, very good pressure. Oh, a nice outside leg kick though there from Mansour to Web Kerifov. Now stalking forward. He is the one that has got first blood, well not literally, but wobbled his opponent. With that high kick, Hatuev looks to have recovered well. Yeah, but you see Hatuev now, he's trying to throw back with all his might, trying, trying to keep away, but that's another good high kick there by Kerakov. Strength now up against the cage for Kerakov. He's putting that yucks under a lot of pressure here. Though now starting to raise the spirits, raise the roof here in the Basket Hall Arena. One minute, 59 seconds, just under two minutes now. Scheduled for five, five minute rounds as it is a title fight. As you come to spec with the fly rate division, you can't really see in them gas too much. Both look in great shape. Just misses on the exit with that right hand, Kerifov. I think his thumbs just come out of the glove there. Slight malfunction. Fixed, reset, and off we go again. Kerifov now, obviously, he's landed a really good left high kick. He's trying to go to it a bit, maybe too much. Well, you don't want to keep going to the well too much. Oh, that's a good overhand right there, Brian. Nice shot. A testament to her too, he took that very well. Oh, swinging again. You kind of, you kind of feel like that. Karakov is not really respecting her too, heavy. Pushing and pressuring. Yeah, I too have, you know, needs to try and get a bit of respect here. We've never seen, well, we've not seen this to such an extent where someone's been able to control Manso to have take away that movement, even rocking to the extent that uh, Kerifov has been able to so far. Yeah, very impressive round by Kerifov in the first one. This is why they are championship fights and why they're fought over five rounds. It is still obviously very important that first round. But if you lost the first round in a three round fight, then you are chasing the fight. Whereas now you still have four rounds to turn that around for Manso Tuev. What would you look for his corner to say? What do they need to do with this fight to try and shift the momentum? It's, it's tricky if you need to get some sort of respect. It's like we see them when we do so well when he's going forward, when he's being the ball. He seems to grow into fights a lot more with that way. He seems to ground people with pressure, but at the moment, he's the one being put. Uh, uh, Kerifov did a good job putting him on the back foot, and he's controlling the pace of this fight. Oh, and there's another one of those high kicks that came through. Again, was blocked, but you can see the power. And as you watch the replays, you can see just how good the counters are from Kerifov. Round one in the books, round two. You kind of feel that Kerifov kind of feels like he has the power advantage. Being a, well, I'd say he's, he's a 20 year old man and you still have the two have being a 24 year old. Oh, a nice inside kick to kick us off. Hatuev, blue corner, Kerifov in the red. Yeah, again, Karafov doing a good job of controlling the center. Coming forward, putting some pressure. Got the underhooks here on Hatua pushing him back. Feels like he's able to control where this fight is taking place, and that is 
perhaps the most important factor in a fight. Exactly that, Brian. And, and, uh, well, two is not used to being this guy on the back foot. So he's finding find a style that maybe he's not used to. Also, I think this is going to be the biggest opponent he's had to face. Kerifov is huge, a lovely duck under that hook there from Kerifov. Drives him to the fence. A lot of respect between these two. They're very grateful for this opportunity. There's been no bad words said outside the cage. Both respected each other's skill sets. Also respected that each other definitely earned this opportunity. Nathan Kerikov. Yeah, he's done a good job of just getting hold of a two of and just making him feel his strength. He's definitely the bigger of the two. And like I said, it's not a myth. There is such thing what I call man strength, and you kind of get that with later age. Oh, now they break. Three minutes left in this round. One thing I have noticed is that Manso Tuev, his attacks are coming from a standing position ra uh, rather than a moving one. And we've seen him in his other fights, he uses his footwork to find angles, whereas he's standing right in front of Kerifov, which is leaving him open for these counters. Especially when he, you're fighting against a bigger man, that's not, not a, a wise thing to do. Oh. Good little trip attempt by Kerifov. Oh, oh, heavy body kick, straight jab though from Mansour Hatuev. Swinging right hand just misses from Kerifov. And you kind of, like I say, I've said it a few times, but you kind of feel like Kerifov is just walking through the punches, not really respecting the power of Hatuev. And again, able just to control him against the cage, which is impressive in itself when you've seen the other fights of Mansour Hatuev. But it's a position which you can gain some energy back, especially in a five round fight, while still scoring points and causing damage with the judges. Yeah, it's also very, very good and very interesting. Isn't it? Like, when you, when you are being the ball in a fight like this, you are controlling the pace, you're controlling when the fight takes place, when, when you have these exchanges. You know, so you can, if you want to bring it down a little bit, you can, but at the moment, there's no sign of them, either of them signed down, to be honest. Now, whoever's the one that gets it to the mat, that's a great mark. Now he's got the first hook in. Oh, he's trying to maybe be a bit greedy to set the second. Yeah, Kerfoff done a great job. Not let him get two hooks in and get back to his feet. A two every one minute, five seconds to try and get this back down. Definitely his best moments of the fight right here. Deep breaths there from Kerifov. That's interesting. It was. I just noticed that as well, Brian. multiple times there. Now two it does grow into fights. Exactly that bro. We had the examples of that with the make on silver fight. Oh nearly a nice completed trip there but heavy hammer fist coming down from uh, Azamat Kerifov. Twenty seconds in round number two. Maybe a little switch in the tides here. Like you said, Brian, it's very interesting that this is a five-round fight. You can afford to go two rounds down, and if you can change it around, and win the next three, you're going to win the fight. Now, I know for sure that Mansour Tuev has never been five rounds. I can't quite see. I don't believe uh, Azamat Kerifov has either. Action. This is the body lock trip from a, a 2 -F. Takes the back nicely there. Got a little bit greedy with trying to set the hooks, which led to the space for Kerifov. But you saw a little 
shift just in that. Mansour being able to have some success against the cage, even with that takedown, despite it not being completed fully. Still, as a corner, you will, you will use those to hang on to, right? I 100%, you will latch on to that as a corner. Uh, to have had the best sort of, sort of, sort of work with this fight in the, in, with the last minute. Can he carry this momentum and twist the tide of this fight? It'd be interesting to see how, how he comes up with it in this third round. Round three set to go on the way. Me, Brian Lacey, alongside Brad Pickett, calling the action in our co-main event for the vacant flyweight title. And we have seen some spectacular fights here tonight. Great comeback from Mohamed Kokov against Viskan Magomedov. Close split decisions, Apti Ben Mazayev taking on Popodanikov. Ali Holtbagov making his debut at welterweight. Oof. Just misses with that. Yeah, that's the thing though, like Kelkov is actually missing. You know, and uh, the two of me is looking a little bit fresher than the two already. As we're saying, we'll be going into the third round of the, of the normal fight. First time these guys are going to be experienced in the next round if we go that far. I mean, yeah, the crowd here in Krasnodar they're trying to put some wind in the sails of Kerepov. Patuev once again pressed against the cage, that head burying into his chin. Oh, does well to avoid the takedown there. Good hips, and also what he's doing is a good job, he's, he's making Kerepov used a lot of energy here. He, he's expending a lot of energy trying to get these takedowns. And sometimes, I mean, like, I've experienced a lot of them in my fights, and even in training, it's, it's a lot less energy. Yes, you are losing a little bit when you're, you're, you're pressed up against the cage, but you're not using as much energy because the person being an aggressor is pushing you, using energy, keeping you there. Almost in fights like this, you wish you had those computer energy bars so you could see exactly where the fighters are, but both of these have come from great camps. And you know they put the work in here for this opportunity. Yeah, two of those got to do something here now to try and get his get break clean. He's pummeling really well here. He's got double unders. Now using his head, he's got to watch out for a knee. They separate big breath from Kerikov. Yeah. He was very reluctant to let that grip go. Now his movements diminished quite a bit within this third round. And like Lombardi, like, well, so he's been a quite fast paced fight. Here you go. Oh, Good nice take down. Trip there, took the single, swept it with the leg, but Kerikov back to his feet. We see a lot more kicks coming out of Hatuev. Do you think that he's wary of that takedown with uh, Kerifov? He's got to be. You know, like, especially you know, with the title is by now, he can't afford to get taken down. Oh, Good nice. jab. Nice. And when you're looking at the frame of an opponent like Kerifov, as a coach, what, what targets are you picking? What's what are you looking for your, your fighters to try and work on? He's very, he's tall for his weight class and stands quite tall. What I would try and do is throw a few shots to try and get a level change. But you saw him a couple of times he had success. But he's had success when, when Kerifov was actually standing orthodox. Now he's switched to southpaw. Now he's orthodox there now. Oh, swinging right hand. Lovely level change, just as you called it, Brett. Kerifov sprawling out, trying to keep hold of the neck, the head. I think Kerfov is aware of that, you know, like when he stands in an orthodox stance. The two have done a good job of his level changes. Oh, a nice little trip there, but it is a, a game of inches between these two millimeters, in fact. Neither can really positionally get the advantage. Nicely up the middle there from Mansour Atuev. Yeah, an interesting round here, Brian, to score. Both have had the moments. Nothing, nothing really to stand out for me. 40 seconds now. 
left in this third round before we move into those championship rounds. And for me, this fight is definitely still up for grabs. We're going into the championship rounds. We're going to see who wants it more. He wants to be that champion. So we're pummeling under. Such a grueling contest. Three. And there you see the ACA gold. And that is a belt that would uh, even tempt you out of retirement, I'm sure, Brett. It has many times, <laughs> many times. Now we are set for round number four. And they call these the championship round. We know that this is uh, extended from the usual three-round fight, but why are they so important? What do you find out about the fighter in these rounds? You see how the training goes, and, and like, basically, in, in a three-round fight, it can be tough to go, but when you have a five-round fight, definitely the better fighter will win the decision. You know, in, in a three-round fight, you see it many, many times where someone starts off quite strong, and then fades, and then you, you always say, I wish I had another round. Now we get to see how they, they vary in, in the later stages. And there we see some of the exchanges right on the buzzer. And it is the jabs you're around, because this is where you, you see it many times in other promotions where a champion does really well within those rounds because they're used to this. None of this is very new to both of these guys. But whoever wins this is going to go on with, with, with that little uh, experience of going into the champion round. And now we see some ice in the corner there of Mansour Hatuev. And you can see the corner really trying to elevate their fighter. Set, we are underway. Mansour Hatuev, Azamat Kerifov, round number four here in Krasnodar. Wolf. Kerifov sitting down on those punches. Yeah, I mean, Kerifov definitely has the, the power fine when power, power advantage when, when they both throw down really hard. Oh, that oh. left hand connected, that was straight down the middle from Kerifov. He has a lot more success when he stands in, his, in a southpaw stance. We'll be striking and also the rest of the defense. Oh, Ooh, lovely yeah. trip there. That is the first time he's put Mansour Hatuev on his back. And also straight into guards, he's kind of like, you can see Hatuev has accepted that takedown. Big breaths from the young man on the bottom, starting to wear some of that damage a little well under the right eye. Some good damage off the back here, but you know, again, you got think this, this in this close fight. This is no, this is not where you want to be. Oh, a nice elbow there from Kerefov. Staying busy on top. Yeah, Kerefov did a good job of being able to get a bit of posture here and land some of his elbows. And we see Hatuev flat on his back, guard closed, still throwing those at now. We see it break. Three to threaten with the armbar. Yeah. Kerifov aware of that very much so. Exactly that. Now, now, now he's got an open guard, but he's still flat. Now he's switching down to one hip. He's going to try and get his bottom right leg out, try and maybe go back to the cage. You've got to be careful, though. We're giving up his back. Working his way to that cage. Doing very well to get back to his feet, Mansour Hatuev. Yeah, you saw him take a couple of deep breaths there. In the eyes of the judges, that is the first two minutes, definitely for Azamat Kerifov. Again going for the same trip there, looking to reap those ankles away as he pulls back with the body lock. To have done a good, good, good job of defending, but like I say, he's just defending at the moment now. He needs to try this round step, he's slipping away. Now, let's see what he can do. There's a little bit of mark on that right eye as well. He's starting to swell up a little bit. Ooh, high kick from Kerikov, nice straight left. And just as we were saying, maybe he was tiring in that third round. 
He's coming back with an excellent performance in this fourth round, Brad. Yeah, he's kind of see like he's collecting some data like throughout the fight. And he, he seems to have way more success when he stands southpaw. Now I don't know why he's gone back to orthodox. This is where he seems to not have as much success. Whoa. Good exchange. Hands are down a little bit, but careful. He's got to be careful. Oh, slips that punch. Oh, another high kick coming from Kerifov. Another straight right angle enough that one. Well, that's been his most successful strike of the night. Of his left straight and his left high kick. And in this round, he really has started to add the damage up to Mansour. You see that face really wearing some of the swelling from the strikes. Yeah. The ground and pound. To his face, he's definitely telling the story of this round. That knee is open. Oh, and there he takes it. Again, we might see that knee. Oh, the two F's chin being tested once again. This is definitely the most easiest one to score apart from the first round, I'd say. In Kerfov's favor. And that is made even more impressive when we look at the round and when we look at round three, the one before it. Yeah. How tired he looked. 30 seconds left in this fourth round. He was arguing to say two of was actually starting looking for good in that towards the end of the third round. I kind of feel like maybe oh, careful. Good shots from Kerifov there against the cage. I kind of feel like maybe Kerifov was taking a round off a little bit, you know, maybe trying and to recharge the gas tank. Well, that's impressively done so. Risky to do that as well, though. He is wearing a bit of damage as well, but that was a tough round. A very despondent Mansour Tuev now coming back to his stool. That, that corner must know. They need a finish here. Yeah, that young man's got must up some sort of strength. Azamat Kerikov on the flip side must almost taste victory, but he has to say switch on as well, right? Indeed, we've seen it throughout the night. There's been many, many combat wins. You know, so you're never out of the fight to, 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 to the final bell. He's going to get you the worst encouragement from everybody. Here we have some of the action. You saw it for me, it was, it was a success with that straight right hand that Kerfov has had him throughout that round. The straight, the straight left and also the left high kick. Starting to find a home. Fifth and final round here, Brad, and our co-main event of the evening. And again, it's a little bit of extra attention to Mansour, just buying them up. both fights a couple of extra seconds oxygen before we step into this fifth and final round. Who can claim victory here? Uh, Kefov is, I say, he seems to be recharged sometimes. I think you say, that, you know, don't be cliche, he's, but he's kind of like getting second win. Just describe that for people as well, people that don't maybe compete in these sort of sports. It's a real thing, a second win, right? Yeah, indeed, a lot of things could, 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 could uh, uh, equate to that. And sometimes it is when you see a tide change or you see your opponent get, getting a little bit more tired or you're starting to know you better, you kind of get that second win, the bit of adrenaline that you know, help you and not, ah, feeling good, starting to feel good thing. Sometimes when you start thinking you're tired, you start acting more tired and, and, and it shows in your demeanor. Yeah. Oh, that Straight left seemed to wobble Kerifov. I wasn't sure if that was just a misfooting. A little, a little bit of a mark on Kerifov's left eye as well. For some of his right hands. First minute of this final round gone. Four left to play with. Are you with me on this one, Brian? Where you kind of feel like the Hachev has got to somehow finish this fight? 100%. I think, I think the corner could sense that as well. You could see their demeanor, you could see the urgency. Oh. 
has to try and make something happen here. But again, Kerifov looking for that little chip. Nice spinning elbow attack. Still Kerifov, he's had so much success in this position. Able to keep Mansoor to have there. Let's see if those knees come raising. Oh, and again. Yeah, Kerifov doing a good job here again. Just, just wearing him down. Keeping his wearing him. Doing a good job of holding and hitting. And again, another knee comes up. Oh, Tua trying to frame off, make some space. Finally gets an exit. Great jab there from Kerifov. They're both marked up now. Oh, oh. high kick. The Tua shakes that one off though. Kerifov shoots in. Big takedown here with half the round left to go, Brad. Yeah, impressive that. The Tua have done a great job getting straight back to his feet. A beautiful transition by Kerfoff, you know, mixing up the striking to the wrestling. You can see just how heavy wrestling this has been. Look at the left ear of uh, Kerfoff. That is filled up with blood. <laughs> Further in those cauliflower ears, Brad. Like trophies. Yeah. They may earn him one of the biggest trophies on the planet, the ACA flyweight title tonight. 1 minute 45 seconds, the clock ticking away. Maybe the opportunity for Mansour Tuev as well. Yeah, Tuev's got to try and pull something out of the bag. Oh. Still Kerifov pushing forward. Another oh. left hand. What timing and accuracy, Brad. Yeah, I mean, exactly. That's been, been the weapon of me tonight. That, that, that straight left the southpaw stance has been finally in the home. Let's see if Kerifov turns him against. Oh, drags him to the mat. Yeah, good job of just using the two heads way against them. Oh, that knee hurt. Her two heads, you can see that. Instant wins from the young man. About landing right on the nose. seconds final seconds of this title fight here our co-main event in Krasnodar ACA 101 nice knee oh, up the middle beautiful knee there but careful oh and take looking down. for the takedown finish a two -head. pulling on the neck but this will just be a matter of seconds now before we see a new title holder Good respect between these two, but for me, and this has gone to the judges, we have been wrong before as far as what they've seen and what we've seen. Indeed, Brian, but for me, a two ever, you know, great performance tonight, yes, but I just don't feel he had enough. He's very young within his career, but Kerrigan showed very good experience. And yeah, again, like we said, within those championship rounds, and to be a champion, you need to win those rounds. It's like, in my eyes, Kerrigan, Kerrigan did. Yeah, good shot cauliflower here there. That's a Matt One of the trophies he's gained tonight, but another one being highly likely is the judges have seen it the same way yeah, but the ACA flyweight title. I mean some of that fight for me, Brad, what do you think about first of all both competitors but Kerifov's performance tonight? Yeah, Kerifov for me stood out, you know, he started off really strong in that first round and then towards the end of the second round Run, he got it dipped a little bit, but then he changed it around within, within the championship round, and that's what you need to do, do, need to, do to be able to be champion. He just started to find a home with that straight left, with the left high kick. So, see here, looking back, 
with some of the action. And he, and he, and he had a good job, he, let's say, he used his man strength to press it up the two up against that, that cage. Five championship rounds. Our judges at cage side are all in agreement for your winner by unanimous decision. And he is now the new undisputed ACA World Flyweight Champion. Azama Kelepo! Ladies and gentlemen, here to present the title belt to the new champion, ACA President, Mr. Alexei Yatsenko, and ACA Young Eagles President, Mr. Ruslan Khamsaye. Karefov, congratulations. This belt has been hard earned. Just sum up what it means to claim victory, this belt, and in front of your fans here in Krasnodar. Мы поздравляем тебя с победой в этом тяжелом поединке с завоеванием пояса перед этой потрясающей публикой в Краснодаре. Спасибо большое. Хочу поблагодарить всех болельщиков, которые приехали поболеть. Огромное вам спасибо, Упсо. Вы всегда нас поддерживаете. Выигрываем мы, проигрываем. От вас всегда исходит эта энергетика, это нас заряжает. Огромное спасибо вам. First of all, I want to thank for the support. And I uh, want to say that always we have this positive energy, uh, even we lose. Thank you for that, and uh, we're always fighting for you. Your victory was against a very tough opponent in Mansour Hatuev. Did anything surprise you about how tough this young man was? And what words do you have to say about him as an opponent? В этом поединке тебе противостоял очень серьезный и сильный спортсмен. Были ли аспекты или эпизоды, в которых он тебя очень удивил? Этого бойца я знаю давно. Мы встречались на сборах, они приезжали всей команды к нам. Очень хорошие ребята, вся команда, я их очень уважаю. Мансур очень достойный человек. Его тоже я уважаю, ему огромное спасибо за такой бой. Очень сильный соперник, молодой, перспективный, у него все впереди, и он еще удивит многих своими яркими выступлениями. I have only uh, respect for my opponent, and I know him and his team for a really long time. I respect them, and I believe that he has huge future, and definitely he, he will have this victory in this sport. Azamat Kerifov, you are the new flyweight champion. Krasnodar, give it up one more time. Azamat Kerifov! Hats off to that man, Azamat Kerifov, going away with the ACA flyweight tile. As we look here back at some of the action, a tough, tough, he takes two to tango and is a tough, tough opponent in there. Two young kids, only 24 years of age. Fighting for a major title in the promotion, hats off to him just for that alone. But this kid shows some great moments within the fight too, but it was as Matt careful.